Hello everyone, today I'm going to present this work, Structure Second Order Methods via Natural Gradient Descent. This is a journal with Frank, MT, and Mark. Many machine learning applications are either optimization, search, or inference problems. As we can see from the figure on the left, it is about optimization problem where gradient or Hessian information is available. The figure in the middle is about black box search problem where there is no gradient information. The figure on the right is about Bayesian inference problem. In these inference problems, we care more about the whole density space instead of just one optimum point. These three types of similarly different problems indeed can be solved in one framework by minimization over distribution Q and where gamma is a non-negative constant. As examples, we often solve these problems using a Gaussian family Q in version inference with setting gamma to 1 and evolution strategies we solve a similar problem with setting gamma to 0. Natural gradient descent are often used to solve these kind of problems since natural gradient descent can exploit the geometry of Q and we will soon show how to use natural gradient descent to derive structure second order methods for optimization problems. So let's consider uh, unconstrained optimization problems where function f is bounded below for now we will assume the function is continually twice differentiable and we could use Newton's methods to solve these problems and if f is strictly convex. To use natural gradient descent, we reformulate the problem into a new problem as shown in the box, where Q is a Gaussian with a mean mu and precision S. The precision is the inverse of the covariance matrix, and F is the exact feature information matrix of the Gaussian. And we can perform natural gradient descent to solve this reformulated problem. Notice that we have the sized identity as shown on the left. According to these identities, the gradients can be expressed in terms of expectations. And finally, we can re-express the natural gradient update on the right by using the size identity. And if we approximate these expectations at the mean, we can see that natural gradient descent gives us a Newton light update when setting step size to V1. And I would like to make several remarks before we move on. In natural gradient update, we exploit the geometric structures of Q, which is different from the classical quadratic interpretation for Newton's methods. And the derivation can be applied to optimization problems with some positive definite constraints by using a Warshaw distribution Q. And like Newton's methods, we can see that standard natural gradient update has several issues. First of all, the updates on S can be invalid if F is non-convex. Secondly, we have a high iteration cost due to the inverse of the precedent matrix. For now, let's consider the first issues. One idea is to use an unconstrained, unconstrained transform on S. However, this idea often leads to a complicated natural gradient update, and it is also unclear how to obtain a Newton light update from it. In our ICMR work, we propose a new natural gradient update for structure parameter space. Here, the precision S can be expressed as a matrix product between B and B transpose and B is an invertible matrix. And note that B lives in the general linear group space. We introduce a local parameter M so that we can perform natural gradient descent in the M space while preserve the group structures in the B space, thanks to lemma one. And as shown in the figure on the right, the key difference between our natural gradient descent and the standard natural gradient descent is that we can easily encode structures in the B space. The reason is that we decouple the structure preserving steps from the standard natural gradient update. In general, it is hard to directly enforce structures in the standard natural gradient steps due to the complicated natural gradient computation. Moreover, an arbitrary structures could lead to a singular feature information matrix. For example, a commonly used low rank plus a diagonal structure could lead to a singular feature information matrix. An echo approximation to handle this singularity could destroy nice properties of natural gradient descent such as the invariance property that we are about to discuss. In the Gaussian case, our update can be expressed as follows. And we can see that our updates in, in S is always positive definite, even when F is non-convex, since matrix B is a matrix group member. And we do not use dam dampening techniques here, and lemma 2 shows that our update is related to the standard natural gradient descent. Where the quadratic term 
shows in red is used to handle the constraint. By approximating the expectation at the mean, we obtain a Newton Lies update for the optimization problem. And lemma 3 shows that our update like Newton's method has a linear invariance property, which is indeed a group invariance. Now we're going to discuss how to reduce the iteration cost. In previous example, we assume B is a dense invertible matrix and which is a member of the general linear group. We consider structure restriction of the group which gives us its subgroups. A straightforward idea is to just use the diagonal group. Luckily, we can do better. We can consider several useful group structures such as a, a block upper triangular group, a lower triangular group, a hierarchical structure such as Heisenberg groups, and also a group conjugation. Using these subgroups, we can obtain a structure second order methods. And these updates are also have a group structure invariance due to the modified version of lemma 3. By exploiting the group's algebraic structures, we can reduce the iteration cost of our updates. And for the details, please see our poster. Finally, I will briefly discuss how to obtain structure adaptive methods for neural networks. To obtain a non diagonal adaptive gradient method, we could approximate the Hessians by the Gauss Newton and exploit a quantic product covariant structures. And recall that we express the precision matrix S as a matrix product between B and B transpose, and B is a matrix group member. And if B is a quantic product of two group members, C and D, we can show that B is also a valid group member. We call this group is a quantic product group. And using these product groups, the precision matrix has a quantic product structure. When we use a quantic product of two general linear groups, our update is like shampoo and k fact, and this update has a similar iteration cost as k fact. If we use a quantic product of two sparse subgroups, we can further reduce the iteration cost of our methods. And our method is completely different from existing natural gradient methods using deep learning. Existing natural gradient methods use the empirical features defined by the function f, while we use the feature information measure of the Gaussian. And our method do not suffer from the same issues for the empirical feature. And our method also do not require us to use the dampening technique. Last but not least, our updates also has a group structure invariance, and existing structure methods such as KFACT, Xiangpu, and BFGS do not have this invariance property. To wrap up, we propose a new natural gradient measure, and it is a systematic approach to incorporate group structures, and the structure obtained from this approach gives us a non-singular and close from feature information measure for Gaussian and Washer. And we can also extend this idea to mixture case to handle multimodality. And it gives us an efficient and simple natural gradient updates for many group structures. And we show that we our natural gradient update can be used to design structure second order methods for unconstrained optimization and structure adaptive algorithm for neural network with a linear iteration cost. If you are interested, please come to see a poster to check out more results of our method. And that's it. Thank you for your attention.